Hello Retro Challenge and welcome to my last update for this year's 2021-10 Retro Challenge contribution, the Microtronic based drum computer. I thought it would be nice to wrap up this series of experiments and my Retro Challenge contribution by showing you the real original 1981 Microtronic um, computer system from Bosch. Here it is in all its glory from 1981 using the TMS 1600 microcontroller and um, this is its RAM there's some glue logic here it has digital outputs and digital inputs here's a 1 Hz clock output um, which is uh, being used uh, as a MIDI output in my in my emulator right and this is of course my re-implementation of this wonderful little computer from 1981 um, and <clears throat> All the previous experiments I showed you in my previous updates were using my emulator and um, as you know I have the X2 MIDI sound module connected here <clears throat> and this is of course only possible because I have the source code of the CPU emulator here and I can actually um, add MIDI support to the firmware of my Retro Authentic Microtronic emulator and um, I can extend the instructions, the opcodes, right, mm, to drive the MIDI module. This is something uh, which is not possible, unfortunately, with the original Microtronic, right? Simply because, first of all, I don't even have the firmware of the TMS 1600. So this is running, this is a mask program microcontroller here, right? There's no EEPROM or um, no flash, of course, right? So the way that thing was programmed in 1980, 1981 by Texas Instruments is they got a mask basically from Bush, right? Um, and then it would be programmed directly <coughs> in the factory. So, and you also cannot read out this uh, microcontroller ROM, right? This masked uh, programmed um, ROM. So the only way to do this is to decap this, right, and then take a die shot and analyze basically the gates, the connections uh, <clears throat> um, in the ROM section. And then it is, there are um, uh, TMS 1000 uh, um, emulators available, right, so once you have the program read out, read out, you can then emulate it. And it would be very nice if one day some person, somebody would decap the TMS 1600 and read out the ROM, but <clears throat> I don't uh, have the means or technology or knowledge to do that, right? And I don't want to... I could probably send in um, one of those um, microtronic um, microcontrollers, right, to the person that does that, but I don't want to sacrifice one of these rare um, devices, right? Because that's obviously destructive. Um, yeah. <clears throat> So, I can in no way extend the instruction set in the real Microtronic mm, like I did um, for the Microtronic emulator, right? So, how can we play the drums? And um, it is actually playing the drums, right? And it is uh, using the Microtronic emulator as a drum computer, basically, um, <coughs> using digital um, input output communication, right? So there are four wires here from the digital outputs into the digital inputs of the emulator and also the ground wire is connected, shared here. And then it's simply using its digital outputs to send the drum number it wants to play. This one here is constantly sampling at a high rate as fast as possible for him, right, with its processing speed, the data bus, right, the, and whatever drum uh, number it samples from that, it immediately plays back. So there is no common clock signal between the two. And you can hear that, for example, if I hold down the reset button, all the LEDs go on here. And you hear this buzzing sound, right? And this is actually because uh, now F15 uh, is being sampled uh, in a loop, right? And um, turned into MIDI sound uh, all the time, right? So, and if I adjust and slow down the emulation speed here, you can actually hear what's happening, right? So now you directly hear the sampling rate. This is the lowest uh, CPU emulation speed, somewhere in the middle. And that's the fastest, right? The question then is, of course, at what rate does this program here need to sample the bus so that it doesn't miss any drums, right? 
and we can uh, make an experiment here let me run that again let me also speed that up a little bit um, so this is and to show you how this program here works so it displays register zero on display then it adds one to register zero right five one zero it outputs uh, the value the current value of register zero to the digital output so it's uh, appearing here and then <clears throat> In order to turn off the drum, we also need to send a zero, right? Because this is a mute sound here. So I'm putting zero into register one. And now I'm outputting uh, register one to the digital outputs. And then I'm then I have a basic a number of no ops here. And at some point there is a go to, right? So here's a go to add to address zero one. So this is a loop. So if I uh, shorten the number of uh, no ops in between the output and the loop then of course I can adjust the speed so let's put the go to at um, address 8 now you hear it's running much faster right and I can now answer that question that I posed what sample speed do we need right so now if the CPU emulation is too slow you hear that it simply misses you know the right sampling points and um, drums are missing So this is still too slow, still too slow, I really need the, the maximum sampling speed that this device can run in order to not miss any drums on the digital inputs uh, presented to it. But then you hear that you are getting this digital um, MIDI chorus effect basically, right? And this is now it is actually sampling the same drum like one or two or three times like this basically right this buzzing sound and um, <clears throat> so as a side effect you're getting this midi chorus effect or midi delay effect right simply because it's playing the same drum over and over again but i think that actually sounds kind of good and without a, a common clock signal between the two there is and uh, since we don't have a synchronous protocol um, this is a asynchronous right there is uh, we can't do better than that basically but i think it's it sounds kind of good and um, yeah I would say I achieved my goal of um, making the original Microtronic uh, drum right uh, so it can play the drums now it would be nice if we could also um, interactively play the drums in real time on the keypad here again all the opcode extensions that I <coughs> did on this one here right for the keyboard input kin uh, command right like non-blocking input that is not possible with the original Microtronic, but what I can just do is... First of all, let me remove the line output cable here, because I need to program now a little bit on the Microtronic. What we can do is, of course, um, just uh, input um, keyboard uh, input right into a register and output that. And let me do that and write a little program for this. So display register zero. Now what we want is digital input into register zero, right? FF zero. Then we want to output this to the digital output ports. And now we also <clears throat> want to turn this drum off, right? So I'm again putting zero into register one. I'm also outputting register one and then I'm looping. So you see if I push a button here then it quickly flashes, briefly flashes the, the value I did input. Let me reconnect the, the audio cable so we can hear it. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy. I mean, it's not very fast. This is simply because this original Microtronic is not as fast um, the CPU executing its, running its program as this one, right? Um, but, <clears throat> well, at least it does it, right? And I can...
not the most user-friendly uh, interface, obviously, right? But it works. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me also show you the program, basically, that is running on the um, emulator, uh, which is sampling the bus and so on. Turn off this lamp here so you can see better. And I hope you can see that. Oh, there's a bit of a reflection, huh? Okay, that way. It's just a quick step through here. So I'm using Register 4, right? I'm displaying uh, Register 4 on the display. I'm turning on the MIDI mode using 022. Copy Register 2 onto itself, a vacuous opcode I have extended with extra MIDI semantics. Now, FT4, that uses now uh, samples the digital input port, right? And puts the value it sampled into register 4. Then 044 is um, move register 0 onto itself or copy register uh, 4, sorry, copy register 4 onto itself. As a side effect, it outputs the current value of register 4 to the MIDI port. The MIDI drum number is being played now by the X2. And then we simply loop, right? So this is just a sampling loop. So, whatever it samples, it sends to MIDI. Alright guys, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my um, 2021 Retro Challenge contribution. And um, I'm happy that I could ha had a chance to demonstrate and show you the original Microtronic um, 2090 Bosch computer system, which is very dear to me because it was my first computer. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my contribution. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next year in next year's Retro Challenge. Bye.